This video is for general information about replacing your non-programmable thermostats uh, that are used with wall furnace or gravity furnace. Mine is a Williams wall heater and I'm upgrading to the Google Nest third generation and I'm showing you an edited version of my trials and tribulations. But if you decide to do it, please do this at your own risk. I purchased this smart thermostat. This is my original non-programmable thermostat. This is the 24 volt adapter or C wire I bought from Amazon. These are the general specifications for the AC adapter. After some reviews, they all have the same pros and cons. So I just went with this one. I don't know which one is best. Yep, turn the power off. I have fished my adapter wire through the wall so it looks a little nicer using a drywall screw, but you don't have to. So this is the drywall anchor style that I used. I just used a cheap kitchen knife uh, to cut right about there. And then I drilled a hole in the wall um, so that I can get the screw started. And then I just screwed it in there with a screwdriver. It's really easy. Now is for the easy part. I'm taking the front cover off of my existing thermostat and then pull this down. How to do it? And you'll see how it was originally hooked up. I actually have a red wire and a white wire and that's it. And I'll show you where those are gonna go once I mount the new back plate to my wall. Important note, do not lose your wires into the wall. As you can see, it tells you to turn the power off. For me, this wiring method did not work, but I saw it so often on other videos that I wanted to make a note of it for you. I tried it this way first. I wired the white to the W1, the red, and one of the C wires twisted together into the RH, and the other C wire wire into the C before plugging it back in again. And this created a really loud, disturbing buzzing sound. So if you encounter this problem, I thought you'd want this information. At least, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, so the original way that I wired it with the red and one of the C wires twisted together and put into the RH made a terrible buzzing sound at my wall heater. And I just unplugged the adapter immediately. Um, and now I've tried wiring it this way with one C wire to the RC, one to the C, one to the RH, and one to the W. And then when I place this back on, it actually, uh, powered up and no more buzzing, which freaked me out. So in order to work this, you push in on it um, to select. And then it says equipment detected and it shows where I have my wires wired up to, which is correct. Hopefully it works. Your system heating, I'm gonna select that. What is the fuel source for your heating? It is gas. I'm gonna select radiators because that's the closest thing to what I have. I guess I need to get the app. I think I'm gonna try the QR code. Here's what I got after scanning the QR code and connecting to my Wi-Fi. Hopefully this works. Ah, I heard it. It fired right up. Alexa, I'm freezing. The heat's set to 52. Alexa, can you turn the heater up to 75? The heat's set to 75. Alexa, turn the thermostat to 73 degrees. So I'm super thrilled with my new uh, smart thermostat and I can't wait for a day that it's cold and I can warm up my house before I get out of bed. Really looking forward to being able to do that for the first time. I hope you found this information useful and if you did, please subscribe.